cut my hair. So I've already cut the length off my hair. It's just straight across. And the reason I did that was because um, I needed to cut some of the bottom off anyway. That's why I didn't record it because that's not really the point of what this video is. This video is all about layering. So I just went ahead and did that first. Then I'm going to take this tail comb and I'm going to separate. the hair in front of my ear because I don't want to layer that part. The Sorry for all that noise. My nephews are over here and they're playing with Leilani. So this is going to look really funny because I'm going to tie this off so that it doesn't get mixed up. Okay, so you see how I've done the hair in front of it because we're just going to worry about the hair behind it. Get out. I'm recording a video. Do you guys remember that show in Living Color? I feel like that character that Jim Carrey used to do where where he wore like that leopard print bikini. Do you remember that? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to cut the layers. Again, I'm going to use this comb. And I have my Sally Hansen cutting shears. I think that's how you're supposed to hold it. I don't even know. Um, then I'm going to grab the hair, go to the end, and where the shorter part is, I'm just going to cut up. But what I'm going to do is vertical cutting, and that's going to give it texture. You grab it, you pull it tight, and then you straighten it. But you don't want to go like this because that'll be too blunt of a cut. Now I've been cutting my hair for what seems like forever, and I'm not a professional, I haven't had any training. I just take the techniques that I see have seen in the past, the hairdressers that I have seen, just taking techniques that they've used, watched videos on YouTube, and just kind of combined everything. Until it was something that I could do myself. I do not claim to be a professional at all. So if you use these techniques for yourself and they don't work, please do not blame me because I am not the one holding the scissors. Now I did straighten my hair beforehand. It's a little easier to work with. I never cut my hair wet oops, because I never cut my hair wet because then you can't really see what changes you need to make especially when you're when you don't have any especially when you don't have any training when you're not a professional you want to be able to see what you're doing and if you're making mistakes Because the whole point of cutting your own hair, you're trying to save money. You're trying to avoid having to go somewhere. So, you 
Once you have your hair pulled tight, you can manipulate however you want, however's comfortable for you. I feel like you're getting a lot of elbow shots. But you don't want to go overboard on cutting your hair. Just cut a little bit. Start with a little bit. You can always take more off, you just can't add it. So I'm going to just check the back, see how it's looking. It was very boxy before, so that's what I'm trying to eliminate is that boxy look. Do some more. So to get more of a dramatic layer, which is what I want, when you pull it out, pull it up a bit. See right here how dramatic that, that layer is? That's because when I did it, I pulled up. You could pull straight out or you could pull up a little more. It all just depends on how dramatic you want your layer. So just kind of play around with it. Get comfortable with your scissors. Check your work as you go. Always make sure you leave the guide. Because you don't want to run into a situation where you lose it because then you'll mess up your layers. Now the vertical cutting that just makes it so your edge isn't so blunt. You don't want a blunt edge. My hair is so thick. And the texture, it's like a wavy texture. So in the summertime and when it's hot and humid, it gets so frizzy. It's horrible. Yep. Well, just one second. What? It's called double cheeseburger. So far it's looking good. So I'm pretty much done. Just going to go around my head and check everything again before I put everything away. Now when you cut your hair, if you do it in the bathroom, you want to make sure you plug your sink, pull the little plug up, because you don't want to stop the drain up with your hair. And what I do is I put toilet paper, I line it with toilet paper, and then I can just roll it all up. I also cut my own bangs 
but they don't need it, so I'm not going to do that today. But I will do a video for you. So everything was good. There's just this chunk of hair here. This side is always so hard to do because I'm right-handed, and it's hard to work. Good to me. I'm just gonna take my little ponies tails out. Looks good to me. What do you think? Does it look good? Leave a comment below. If you've cut your hair before or if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll try to help you out. Like I said, I'm not a professional. But I hope that you're able to take something away from this and learn how to do something. That way you can save yourself a little bit of cash. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.